How you doing, Miss Johnson? Hey, I'm bothered, Pastor, but I'm surviving. So what I do for you, sister? Well, Pastor King, you know my son, Terrell. Of course. How's he doing? He's missing. Missing? Missing like you concerned about his safety or he's in danger or missing like you feel like he needs to touch base with home and he's being inconsiderate? Pastor, I don't know what impression you have about my son, but you know, I'm not feeling the way that you're coming no, at on, me, okay? Hold on, hold you on. know, it's not about an impression, okay? I apologize. I apologize if my phrasing is coming off as somewhat ambiguous. Mm. So please forgive my language, but consider my meaning. I've known Terrell for many years, and not implying anything illicit or immoral. Some of the choices he's made has been despite others. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. And I agree wholeheartedly. Terrell has not come anywhere close to being a saint. And neither have I. Let me explain to you where our disconnect comes from. Ms. Johnson, See, I... I'm, I'm not questioning your maternal instincts or anything. Oh, I know you're not. But I still want to share my story with you. See, I lost a lot of time with Terrell when he was growing up. Because I had a lot of demons in me that I wasn't ready to let go of. So his grandmother, she ended up being his primary caregiver. You know, so truthfully, I, I didn't start raising Terrell till he was about 15. And I regret that every day. I wake up every morning thinking about I set my son up for failure. Ms. Johnson, it's never too late to be who you might have been. And every morning we wake up, it's like the first day of the rest of our life. And the moment you gave your life to Christ is the moment your past was forgiven. You understand? For he rescues us from the domain of darkness and transfers us to his beloved son for where we find redemption and the forgiveness of sins. See, sometimes we make decisions right. Sometimes we make the right decisions. Follow me? Mm -hmm. I love that. Good. So, regardless, let's go find your son. Oh, okay. So, any associates that you know of that he's in contact with? Uh, you remember Annie Laura Martin? Yeah, she was one of the first members of my church. Well, he spends a lot of time with her oldest child, Drayvon. But you know, I hear a lot of names. These walls are so thin here. Let me see, it's a, it's a Mookie and James, an Ace and a, there's a few more. I just can't remember offhand. Like, it's okay. I know Drayvon pretty well, so we'll start with him. Pastor, I know my son is not the ideal child when it comes to a person being judged by their actions, but he's got a great heart and he's got great intentions and more so, he's got the ability to be a great man with the right guidance. Listen, I really appreciate you taking the time to look into this for me. It says a lot about your character. Well, thank you, Ms. Johnson. You know, a person's life doesn't end until they leave this earth. But the Lord sees not what a man sees. A man looks on outward appearances. But the Lord looks at the heart. Amen. <laughs>